woke up this morning hold up here in the north focus up let's get into another quick lesson let's see how we do all right well, we're going to talk about energy today well more specifically emotions all right so when you have the word emotions you might as well just break that down into two words every single time you hear someone say that because it's always energy and motion emotion so what that does that mean energy in motion so it's energy that is moving or energy that should be moving hence that's why when people are why hence when people get when they have ego as in ego like that energy has to go right the energy has to go that's why it's called ego and sometimes with people's ego they'll be way out there and so you can really catch that vibe with that with the word ego and sometimes when you here's another thing a lot of us feel ego back here like it's actually it's actually a sensation it's actually like a, a lower part of the reptilian brain or or i can't i can't remember the specifics don't quote me on that but it's a survival base instinct that is part of our brain mechanism like the ego part of it it's just something that's naturally in us that will like naturally occur but just like the word emotion the word ego can be broken down as well because you see energy going but where is that energy going so now do you get why people be looking at people with ego like where are you going with this like where are you taking it my guy like are you bringing me somewhere or are you taking me far away so hence with the same thing with emotion with the word emotion because the word is just emotion but energy and motion so what does that mean so when you're sad it just means your energy is just blocked up it's just not moving in the correct way when you're happy your energy is more uplifted it's more pushing forward when you're when you're weighed down by the gravity of the world you're kind of being weighed down more physically and then when you're anxious you're kind of moving a bit more slowly you know you know so these feelings that we feel these emotions they're more than just these things we feel every single day there is a first secondary like a, a powerful force of those set of emotions out there that we just have like access to you get what i mean there's a whole source of anger out there that we just only get a bit and you want to know how you can tell because everyone has different levels of anger because you can see someone you can be like oh i see the devil in him <laughs> and you can skip over here and be like oh that guy's moss do you get what i mean it's like things like that you could see that level of people who choose to dive into that emotion or dive into that realm and the word realm is one of those other words that's uh that's a trap because it's an anagram when you scratch up all those words again and rearrange them it just, realm spells real me so so you see what i mean so your emotions are you but they're like a part of you the one the, the emotion or the feeling you should be striving for that would be the best thing to push you forward and to always propel you forward would be the feeling of joy would be the feeling of bliss because when you have those feelings you're just you observe more you kind of understand when you sit from those mind frames like here's an example i would rather be a water bottle than a pop can why a water bottle so take the liquid in the cans as emotions as in you as in your temperament and everything if i bring a pop can shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it hand it to you and open it that pop can is going to explode hence meaning that you are easily controlled by your outside environment because the liquid inside is you but the can itself is your body and the force that's shaking it is the world or someone else or uh, some other force external but the fact that it can take it shake it that much and then you you're the one who's all that anger coming out isn't out that's you or you can be the water bottle when someone tries to grab a water bottle shake it shake it shake it shake it shake it no matter how much they shake it and give it back to you and they open it the water bottle doesn't it might overspill a little bit a little bit but the water bottle won't explode so in that sense be the water be observant be fluent be in a state of always being able to adapt especially in these times and that's another thing too 
our emotions during these times are going to be turned up like turned up turned up turned up because you just got to think about how much everything we're avoiding how much karma we're avoiding how much just just things we're avoiding the build up the build up that we've been letting this build up to like it's crazy so now is this unpacking itself so hence why the world is at such a high tension hence why you feel that high tension hence why the way you got to move you got to move in the way you have to move so that means only you know only you got that only you can do that only you got the idea only you know the plan so get it done